All right, so last week, Sean Giggy met some strangers in Stranger, and this week he is headed to another Texas town with a weird name. It's one of the most beautiful places in Texas, but it's also still trying to figure out its name. Where did Nemo, Texas come from? That was before or after finding Nemo? Where do you think they came up with the name Ding Dong, Texas? Maybe there's a lot of dumb people. <laughs> Every day, we pass through places with weird names without even noticing. Zipperlandville. That's real? But did you ever wonder where those names came from? I don't know what they were thinking at all. Their origins reveal an interesting piece of Texas history. And in East Texas, on the biggest natural lake in the state, is a city that's still uncertain. Beautiful and mysterious, there is nowhere in Texas like Caddo Lake, and the way in is through uncertain. It's one of those places that just keeps bringing you back. It's like a, a big magnet. Everybody that comes here comes back. Heck, even Bigfoot lives here. No, seriously, hundreds of people claim they've seen Bigfoot here. But the bigger mystery, where did the name Uncertain come from? Well, depends who you ask. How many stories exist to explain how this city got its name? Oh, there's no telling. Everybody's got one. <laughs> Billy Carter has heard them all. Everybody's got one. But we're only going to look at two. Oh, yeah. Starting with Billy's explanation, 15 miles upriver in Jefferson. <laughs> <laughs> In the 1800s, Jefferson was the second biggest shipping port in Texas, behind Galveston. And whenever cargo made it to Jefferson and wasn't claimed, it was sent back to the previous stop, uncertain to whom it belonged. And it stayed uncertain until somebody claimed it. But another popular theory says that the name uncertain didn't come from steamboats, but from its location. Over that way, Right through the middle of Caddo Lake is the border between Louisiana and the state of Texas. But about 180 years ago, right around here, it was the border between the United States of America and the Republic of Texas. And because this was the border, people who lived here were uncertain if they were Texans or Americans. Chances are you could ask 100 more people and get 100 more stories for how this city got its name, because everyone here is uncertain. In this city, three things are certain in life. Death, taxes, and the fact that you're more likely to spot Bigfoot than you ever are to figure out how this town really got its name. Oh my God! Don't bring that Bigfoot around here, man. Barely made it out alive. Ooh, I think he um, might be outside the window there. What I am certain about is that one of you was either overdressed or underdressed. He's in this big, you know, wool hat, and you practically have a windbreaker on. I, I had a, a thicker jacket that was on the floor <laughs> of the boat. But it, when we got going and the wind was blowing, it was cold that morning. It was, I mean, 40 degrees. But, but nothing for a guy who just took home two Emmys, by the way. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. Got to give you some props, I man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so, no big deal. so uncertain. No, no. Are you certain about uncertain now? No. Mm. There's there's still several stories of how it got its name that I didn't even <laughs> touch on, so I have no idea. Or to next. Frog knot, which Frog also knot. has multiple stories. Can't, I feel like can't you wait. You say that with an accent. Yeah. So.